AMC is definitely not the only red stock today. Guys, I saw a little bit of, I don't know, animosity in the live streams today about buying shares of DWAC and Fun and all these other companies that are soaring because a lot of people think that apes are leaving AMC in order to get into these other shares. And while some people may be selling shares of AMC to buy things like DWAC or Fun, the apes are not doing that, okay? Don't blame it on the apes for leaving AMC. That, that's not happening, okay? An ape, someone who buys AMC, holds AMC no matter what, and until we get the short squeeze, will remain in AMC. They're not out there trading shares of AMC to get in these other runners and take, I don't know, take a chance on them. That's not what's happening. So let's talk about a little bit about what is happening and why it's okay to see these pullbacks and to retest support. So if all of this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2021 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing and you want to use the links down in the description below for Weeble, it is super simple to set up, and, easy, and any deposit is going to get you a couple free stocks just for doing so. So make sure to check that out, and you're going to get into investing, and it's going to change your life. So let's talk about AMC, DWAC, all these different runners, because it seems like a lot of people they're confused about people getting out of AMC to get into these other positions. Although that could be happening on, on some sort of a scale, the apes aren't doing it. So apes, guys, apes are built different, right? We buy AMC, we hold AMC, and we watch AMC stock squeeze. It doesn't mean that we have 100% of our portfolios in AMC stock so that we can't go out and partake in some of these other shares or continue to diversify our holdings and so on. No, it simply means that you are willing to hold AMC stock no matter what. Guys, apes are dangerous, okay? Apes are willing to hold AMC during the red days, during the green days, during red days that are 20% down, during green days that are 300% up. We are willing to hold AMC stock until the shorts start to cover their position. Plain and simple, nothing can come against us. Nothing can stop us. Nothing can make us sell AMC unless we reach that life-changing money. Now, here's what I don't want to see happen, okay? I understand it's one thing if you and I think, oh, well, maybe these other runners, they're nice and shiny. DWAX moving up. Fun is moving up. We're seeing a lot of people get into these other stocks, and it might be taking some of the uh, I don't know, not, not excitement, but some of the attention off of AMC stock. And that's possible. But it's taking the attention of day traders. It's taking the attention of these momentum traders. It's taking the attention of all of these people who don't necessarily need to be in AMC stock in the first place. So if they're willing to sell it and apes are willing to buy it up. Guys, the short squeeze is not easy, okay? Especially a short squeeze of this magnitude. Everybody's been talking about it for several months, and especially on social media, on YouTube, everywhere. They're making it seem like it's it's an easy thing to do. It's easy to hold through all of the price swings. It's a guaranteed thing that's supposed to happen tomorrow, right? Everybody has got their 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 storyline that they're trying to push, but it's not easy to hold on red days. It's not easy to see other things moving higher when AMC is moving sideways or down. It's not easy to resist that temptation, but it's making you and preparing you for the short squeeze. Think about this, guys. If you can hold out now, you will absolutely be able to hold out when you're profitable. If you can hold out now, it's going to make you even stronger when we do start to run higher. So the one thing that I do not want to see happen is this. I do not want to see the mainstream media narrative shift from meme stocks to SPACs. At the beginning of 2021, SPAC, in the end of 2020, SPACs were all the rage. SPAC stands for Special Purpose Acquisition Company. Now, DWAC brought a lot of, the ticker symbol is DWAC. That would, that's what was running from $10 yesterday all the way up to $175 today. Incredible, insane gains in just a 24-hour period. But it was a SPAC, okay? And it went out and it acquired or is, is merging with one of Donald Trump's media companies. 
Everybody is pouring into it right now. And then you've got fun. P-H-U-N is the ticker symbol. It's running ridiculous amounts. It was a dollar yesterday, and it's trading at $24 this morning. I mean, it's insane to think about these gains. But a lot of people might be shifting their focus. And if the media starts to shift its focus, if people stop talking about these meme stocks, these stocks that you can find on Reddit, and if Reddit starts to shift its focus over to potential SPAC, acquisitions of companies that could be running higher. You see where I'm going? If people stop talking about and stop getting excited about the gains that are in AMC and GameStop and why we showed up in the first place, little by little, little by little, we could start to lose all of these traders out there who aren't as confident as you and I, who aren't as convicted as you and I in, in destroying these hedge funds that are out there. And guys, hedge funds, you know, they, their pockets are endless. If they want to run some narrative across the media, they can absolutely do so. If they want to say the meme stocks are dead and SPACs are on the rise, guess where the general public, guess where all of those people that they consider sheep are going to go? Out of meme stocks and into these SPACs. So I just, I encourage all of you out there, do not get twisted. Yes, it is okay to partake in these runners. It is okay to have some fun, but do not for one second think that AMC and GameStop are done. They are absolutely not done. How do I know that? Why can I say that with such confidence? Because we are here for a short squeeze. The short squeeze is determined by the shares outstanding or the shorts outstanding. The shorts are not being covered. The shorts are still remaining around 85 million short shares. Estimated by Ortex, right? We know that Ortex is not always great at estimating. 85 million shares estimated by Ortex that need to be covered. If we do not sell them back, guys, if you think the gains in, in fun, in DWAC are incredible, these 1,000% gains, wrap your head around the possibility for AMC knowing that nobody that holds it when the squeeze comes will be willing to sell it. If all of the paper hands jump off now, imagine how high AMC stock can go once the short squeeze starts to happen. Guys, encourage each other over the weekend. Encourage each other in the comments below. Build each other up and do not tear each other down because we are in this together and we are absolutely stronger together. So I want to see nothing but encouragement down in the comments, guys. Lift us all up. Make us better investors and show those diamond hands. Get it back to the beginning, guys. I want to see all those diamond hand rocket ape emojis down in the comments below. Spam it out. Let, let us let everybody know that we are here and we are here to stay. And if this button is still red, make sure to click and subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you're brand new to investing or you want to switch brokers, make sure to use the link in the description below for Webull. Super simple to set up your account and any deposit is going to get you some free stocks, at least two free stocks. You can sell those stocks, keep those stocks, whatever you want to do, they are yours. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, guys, until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.